but you have the uh, the weight box mm -hmm. on the back, the dual batteries. Right. It has an intercooler quick connection. So this is if you were running a chiller car, right? Because your car will get warm. It's 18 pounds of boost. You are going to run ice and water in your intercooler right. tank. Uh, after a run, you're going to have to cool that off. Uh, a couple of different ways to do it. You can just wait. It's going to take a lot of time to cool off. You can run an external chiller car. Part of your racer's kit, you have these quick connects. The other two pieces of the quick connect, if you ran a chiller car or in the car, I'll show them to you in a minute when we get to your car. Where do you get the chiller car at? Uh, you can buy them online. But a lot of people, what they do instead, they just bring a lot of ice. What you're going to do is you're going to fill this back up with ice and water. You look on the right, or the side of this, see that yellow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what you would do, what you would do is you would fill it with ice and water, you turn on your pump, you going to turn that ice into hot water, and then you're going to drain it and do that probably two or three times. You should go through a lot of ice. Right. So it's a couple of options. So okay. here is that's your fuses and relays. Your owner's manual had all the information about which is which. You can open that up and compare it to the picture of the pinwheel so you see exactly what it is. Oil catch can. Catch can, it's a breather can. So it's cut to your PCD. It also has a blow off for the top of your. Uh, your supercharger, that'll run over there too. Okay. And the uh, fuel? That's a fuel. Okay. Yep, I'm able to take a mm -hmm. test sample in HRA. Sometimes it requires you to prove your fuel that's in there. So there's a, they can take it either out of your tank directly or you can take it right there. So here's the chiplet again. We'll put them back in that. Here's the production cards of the XM antenna, the shark fin. So once the interior is complete on the car, we move it over to the full post. And what we'll do there is we'll set the suspension on the car. And this way, it gives you a good opportunity to look underneath the car over here. I told you guys about the license plates earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's the really expensive part around here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you do the basic alignment uh, yep. set up right here. Yep. For the front end. Mm -hmm. You can see all the uh, all the torque bolts are all indexed, so you can see if anything's loosened to retorque them. But you can see what everything's done. When you tie this car down, you're going to want to put axle straps on and go straight back because you don't want to bind up into the wheelie bars. And you don't want to just throw the strap over blindly because you don't want to catch the brake line. You'd be really unhappy when you unload it later. Okay, we can look at the rest of the under car, but let me show you the other tie down real quick in the front. And then you can look at the rest of it. So up here, what I hate to have to call yeah. them. Do the what we recommend is you hook up and you cross them right. with a short run because you don't want your straps into the fascia. Right. Okay. Okay. Very good. Great shop here, and it looks.